Right now we are conducting test experiments on ventilation here at Governors Island. For a firefighter it's extremely important that, that you continue to innovate your tactics. If you keep using old tactics for a new fire environment, then it's probably not the most effective thing to do. We're going to be looking at the tactics that we employ, see how it affects fire development. We're going to look at application of water from the exterior of the building to see if anything negative occurs. We're running an, a series of tests in acquired structures. Uh, we've instrumented them, basically taking these acquired structures and turning them into laboratories. So the important thing is to understand the fire dynamics that are happening before you get there and most importantly, understand how your ventilation, because oxygen is always the missing component today, to understand how that added oxygen is gonna allow that fire to burn differently and adjust your tactics to make sure that you're not allowing the fire to get larger and you're making things better. Fires are consuming all the oxygen in a building. And when we ventilate the building, we're causing an oxygen-induced flashover. And that impacts the safety of our firefighters. Ignition in. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. We're looking at uh, DEIS operations, Vent Enter Isolate Search. By adding that isolate in there, allows you to cut yourself off from the flow path, allows you to conduct a search in a much safer place, and you're not gonna impact the operations that are going on elsewhere in the fire ground by opening up a vent high on them. We're also gonna be looking at the ability of our pressurized water extinguisher to control a room of fire, to maybe uh, allow a member searching to get close enough to a door to shut the door, and how current fires grow, develop, and spread throughout structures. In these buildings, there are millions of dollars of sensors and cameras that are going to record everything that happens here. So we can monitor the temperature, uh, the heat flow through the buildings, uh, toxic gas concentrations in the buildings, things that would affect occupants as well as thermal conditions that would affect firefighters. We're hoping to learn more about fire, the environment we work in, and what we can do operationally to improve our own safety and the safety of the civilians. This is a great uh, opportunity to find out what happens at non-fireproof fires and hopefully save firefighters' lives in the future.